It's a common practice today to spray oneself with perfume before leaving home. So, do you know what did people use instead before perfume was invented? In ancient China, people carried mostly scented sachets or incense burners along with them. Or hung them on draperies in coaches or over the bed. It's probably hard to imagine that this spherical object had anything to do with perfume. Let's have a look inside. The outer sphere is made of silver and can be opened into two hollowed hemispheres that are joined together. One hemisphere contains two concentric rings with a gold bowl inside the rings, where fragrance ingredients are to be placed. You might wonder if the ingredients would get spilled. This is what is ingenious about this incense burner. When the sphere rolls, the concentric rings also spin, while the bowl's center of gravity remains unchanged, thus keeping the bowl in a balanced state and preventing the burning ingredients from spilling out. In 1970, the silver incense burner with grapevine, flower and bird patterns was unearthed in Shanxi, northwest China. It was from the Tang dynasty over a thousand years ago. The silver incense burner has a grapevine pattern, indicating harvest, and flower and bird patterns, signifying auspiciousness. The perforated patterns help diffuse fragrances. Its thinnest part is only 0.05 cm thick, equivalent to 5A4 sheets stacked together. A true testament to the marvelous carving craftsmanship in the Tang Dynasty. As recorded in history, one of the four beauties in ancient China, Imperial Concubine Yang, had a silver incense burner exactly like this one. She always carried it with her no matter when she was bathing or out visiting. How would you like such an exquisite and elegant gadget?